This week I bought a notebook, a notebook so I can write. So what am I going to do with a notebook? I'm going to journal. I like journaling because it makes me more conscious about what I want in life, how my day should look like. I haven't done it for a few weeks and I, I missed it because I'm used to holding myself accountable and that's possible when you journal. When you journal, you can talk about your day, you can talk about your activities, you can talk about your feelings, how was your day. You can also write about things that you love about yourself, the things you want to improve, um, the, the things you appreciate in your life, just to create that right state of mind. Especially when you do it in the morning. I would also recommend it in the evening, but also in the morning. It's highly recommendable to write things you feel grateful about, things that are going well, because you will start with a positive state of mind. And that's what you want to tackle the day. And also, we cannot always share our secrets, our suffering, our pain, our questions, our problems with other people. We hold them to ourselves. But if you write them down, at least you will expose any problems or any suffering that you might feel. So even if it's not someone you share your story with or your problems with, at least when you put them on paper, then you are dealing with them at the same time. Because now they're out. From the mind, they're now out. Whether it's through words or through writing. And write by using a pen. Don't, like the notebook that I've shown you, don't type on a laptop or a smartphone. Just when you journal, use a pen and an old-fashioned notebook. Successful people journal. They are very strict in terms of how they spend their time. Successful people, they value time more than money. And they say that poor people value money more than time. And you really want to become conscious about how to spend your time. And that's one of the big messages when it comes to embracing your phone and to control your screens, your screen use, your social media use, your phone use. You want to be very conscious about how you spend your time. Now, when you journal, you hold yourself accountable, you make a plan for yourself, it's out there, it's tangible, you can see it, you can touch it, and now you can bring it with you, you can always look at it during the day. For example, it could be a mantra that you write down that you will look at the mantra and then it makes you feel good or it just makes you remember why you're doing the things you're doing or if you feel sad then you know a sentence that, that's going to bring you comfort, is going to help you to, to keep on going, especially people who are trying to build, who are trying to change their lives, who are now in a in a mode of suffering because they are surrounded by the wrong people or they feel bad about themselves, they feel they're not enough, they have limited beliefs. Those people really should journal as well because you want to have a conversation with yourself. You want to kind of figure out what's wrong and if you expose yourself on paper then it is more, it's confrontational but you will kind of more understand what's going on. You will write things that have been holding you back, that you have been thinking about but you're never courageous to share with other people not not even courage that that's the problem but sometimes you're just not exposed to the right people who allow you to be transparent who allow you to be vulnerable so that's why journaling is mandatory basically if you want to succeed in life because there's so many distractions as i always talk about like your phone like social media that you want to really own your time and to basically tackle the day and understand look i am going to master the phone you're not going to treat me like a jealous boyfriend or girlfriend. You're not going to control me because I'm going to do A, B, and C. You want to have a sense of direction where you're going, and that's why journaling is good as well. It's going to give you perspective. It's going to remind you of the big picture. You're not going to be then bothered by, uh, by petty things. You're always going to remember the big picture and why you're doing the things you want to do. And there's a lot to say about journaling. I can imagine there are a lot of videos about why journaling is a must if you want to become successful. But when you want to tackle phone addiction, social media addiction, I highly recommend to basically write down how it is to implement specific strategies like using your phone less, having a no phone zone, having a phone lounge, um, a mini digital detox. You use your phone less. The counter triggers that I talk about often, when you implement those, how is it going? Hold yourself accountable, write down if you think it's going well or if it's not going well, why not, how do you think you should improve. Ask those questions to yourself and then you will probably figure out the answer as well. So 
journaling. Get yourself a notebook and write things down. Very important. Tackle the day, own your time, and don't let your phone distract you too much. Get, get a notebook and start journaling.